Start game now. Welcome retro fans, the Michael Jordan Pog is back because we're doing another sports game today and that is Ice Hockey for the Nintendo Entertainment System and I dig the blue in the label art but judging by this dude right here, he must be, well, one of the loneliest hockey players on earth who's forced to skate by himself at the rink after hours when the lights are out. Yep, looks like he could use some friends to play with. Oh, nonetheless, let's go ahead and take Ice Hockey for our Nintendo Entertainment System, pop it into the NES, and see how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Ice Hockey was published by Nintendo and carries a copyright year of 1988. It is a 5-on-5 five -five hockey game for one or two players. Each game is self-contained as there is no season or playoff mode. You can select from three different period lengths, 7 minutes, 10 minutes, or 15 minutes, and how fast the game moves from a scale from 1 to 5 with 5 being the fastest. I stuck with the slowest mode for the most part. There are also 6 nation based teams you can choose from like USA, Sweden, Poland, Canada, the Soviet Union and Czechoslovakia. Sadly you cannot pick the Jamaican team. Each team is comprised of a combination of 3 different types of players that you can modify to your liking. The skinny guy is very fast and good at face offs but is also a weakling who doesn't shoot the puck very strongly. The big guy is slow and bad at faceoffs, but is tough to bring down and has a strong shot. And the medium built guy is average all around. On offense, the D-pad is used to skate and aim passes and shots. The A button passes and the B button shoots. The longer you hold down the B button, the stronger your shot. You can also fake a shot by quickly tapping the B button. On defense, the D-pad controls both your skater and the goalie. The B button switches to the player closest to the puck and the A button checks and tries to get the puck. Pressing the B button repeatedly will also call players to gather in front of the goal. For the most part, the game is pretty arcadey, but it does have icing if you pass the puck too far and occasionally a fight breaks out when two players spend a lot of time fighting over the puck, which leads to one of the players getting a penalty and giving the other team a power play. Graphically speaking, I think this game looks okay for an early NES game. It won't blow you away, but it gets the job done. The music and sound is also limited and repetitive, but I liked it. It had an early NES sound charm to it, and this is a family-friendly game. On eBay, loose copies typically go for between $6 and $7. Complete copies were going for about $15 to $25, but new copies were selling between $100 and $200, as early new copies of NES games tend to be hard to come by. And as always, those prices include shipping. So what did I think of ice hockey? Well, I wasn't very good at it, and at time I had trouble controlling the goalie well enough to stop many of the shots, but I actually enjoyed it more than I thought I would. It may not be the best hockey game out there, but it's good for short bursts to play and even better if you have a second player. So where am I going to rank ice hockey? Well, let's see. I like it better than Pinball at 13 and even Galaga at 12, but I enjoy Pac-Man a little more at 11, so I'm going to make ice hockey my new number 12 game. Ice hockey. Not bad for an early NES sport title. If you enjoy retro related videos, would you please click the like and subscribe buttons. Also be sure to check out some of my many other videos covering Atari, Sega, Nintendo and more. With over 150 videos now posted, there's sure to be something for just about any retro fan. Thank you guys for giving me a little part of your day and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Nosfer Gamer. Take care and keep your stick on the ice.